Hi, I'm at Art Co Art Center in Tehanglo to check out a solo exhibition by a German artist called John Bock. Two Handbags in a Pickle was opened last year on November 22nd and will go on till February 8th, 2009. For those who are not familiar with John Bock, some say that he's Namjoon Park of Germany. John is currently working in Berlin and he's the second most beloved artist after Joseph Beuys. So let's go in and check out his amazing artworks. This is the entrance to the first floor exhibition and here is information about John both in Korean and English. Let's take a look at his first piece. This piece sort of looks like a submarine mixed with other objects. Oh my god, it's a real squid tied to wires. <laughs> Here's the creator explaining about John's artwork. We haven't seen their upstairs yet, but I uh, would like to get some general understanding of John's work, so let's go interview her. Now we're upstairs and here are drawings of John's work. He sketched his art pieces when he was in Berlin and then gathered all the materials from Korea and built them when he was here for two months. This is a blueprint of his submarine artwork that's displayed downstairs. Here, John's film, Paris Schizo in Snurled, is being played along with his other films. He and about 50 Korean and German crews went to Nagwondong, Chanshindong, and Jegidong to shoot this film. The characteristic of John's artwork is that not only does he draw and build his art pieces, he also uses all his objects in his films and for live performances. There was a quote by John that I read on Sega Daily newspaper. He said, Art is, for example, not a movie itself, but an after image that audience have about a main character after watching a movie. Interesting perspective, huh? This is one of my favorite artworks of John's. As you can see, there's a projector in front of the bicycle, and I believe that that represents John's eyes. The bicycle itself represents freedom. This artwork is John's way of trying to show us his view on the world. He's free to travel anywhere by riding this bicycle and by putting the projector in the front, he's simply showing us what he's looking at. This is an abandoned theater chair that John found and used as his artwork. It's interesting to see objects that we see on a daily basis in Korea displayed at this exhibition as if they're unique to John. We Koreans, on the other hand, take them for granted, but as soon as you see them at an exhibition by a foreign artist, you start to appreciate them and rethink about your own culture. Perhaps this is exactly what John wanted us to feel. Who knows? I noticed that John likes to use food for his artwork. Here are some anchovies on pieces of gauze. I don't really like anchovies. Potatoes and noodles and chicken and quail eggshells. Interesting. Now that I've shown you a glimpse of John Bach's work, maybe it's your turn to experience it firsthand. I'm definitely recommending my friends to come here. All right, well take care, bye.